morning. It's about half ten. This is going to be the start of the M62, M60, B44 hybrid engine thingamadoobal. Um, not really sure where it's going to go, but we'll see. Went way down to the yard, which is obviously a massive distance away. And then we'll uh, get started. Want to give a massive shout out to Matt at MG Walker Recovery. He sorted the engine out for me. Um, helped me take it out. Did, did it really quickly to be fair. Just put it in the back of the Audi and then made our way back home. We've already unloaded it. It's in the little shed. So as soon as I get to the yard we'll open up, turn the compressor on and get started taking it all apart and hopefully document everything so it's worth watching. Any tips, tricks, any problems, all that sort of stuff is going to be documented so hopefully someone will have all the information to do it themselves. And let's begin! <laughs> M62 passenger side engine mount with a dipstick here that goes straight through the middle of it in in here and and, and out there that's nice good one BMW thank you for that serviced golden brown just how I like my food Is it Mr. William? Is it Mr. William? Is it Mr. William? Mm. Okay. Easy as that. Half seven, I've had enough. We're down to a sort of block. That thing to remove. That dream crusher to remove. Bores actually look like bores. Just makes a change for my engines. Two out in the backyard that are absolutely knackered, but this one was great. Starters on the wrong side, that's fine. That looks brown. In there looks nice. Not a great deal to do. A load of tidying up to do. A load of stuff to pick up. A load of cleaning to do. But that's tomorrow. situation update it's about half eleven down to a block not a great deal to see 
Just for reference, that's what they should look like. And if we go over here. That's what they did look like. Very nice. So one of the things we have to change on the M62, obviously that sits on there, and then on there on the keyway, but single row timing chain, single row oil pump, now that's the same on an M60, on a, an M60 this here is twin row, so we've had to use a three leg puller, pull that bit off, we've got to go back to the house, get the M60 crank. There's an M60 crank, love that, we'll have this box that's got oil pump and stuff in it, we need that, we need the sump but that can stay for a minute. Okay back from the house, it's the smallest puller I've got, it's a bit overkill but as you can see we're behind the teeth, on the crank bolt, hopefully tighten that up, should pull this piece off, right scrap that idea. Worked on the 62 crank, but obviously the 60 crank's a bit tighter. Just kept spitting the jaws off, so we'll press it off. Not scared about the crank falling, it's scrap anyway. All we want's the timing gear off the front. There we go. Side by side, you can see the difference. It's pretty self explanatory. And when you do this, don't put it on dry like that. Let's get some oil, shall we? Uh, what I like to do, nice litre bottle of oil, a little pick hole in the top, and you can just squeeze him on, gives you a nice little dribble of oil. Put this on and off a few times. I'll virtually knock on my hand. Update time, it's about two o'clock. All the lower timing gear and stuff's on. Oil pump and all that sort of stuff's on. That's an oil separator for the, for the crank breather. This is why an M60 doesn't get timing chain rattle. On an M62, all of that there is one big plastic guide. It breaks, chain goes loose, you do the math. Oil pump just bolts on standard mounts. There's one here, one there, and one there. That's all factory. One thing you do have to do is there's a little bolt here. That's an oil port on an M62. Um, I just tapped it to M6, put a bolt in it. M60 doesn't use it. While everything's apart, I thought I'd give the block a bit of a clean. No excuses for a dirty engine when it's been in this many pieces. Can't you see that? Oh, that's clean as well. All behind there is clean. One thing I'm not sure of, obviously M62 starts on this side, my M61's on that side. Don't know if we'll get away with putting it on the M62 side, but we'll find that out later. Yeah, we're getting there. Sump is on. Not much more I can do until we get the head gaskets. You could, in theory, put the lower timing cover on, but it's a bit pointless, really. Um, gasket should arrive on Wednesday. Put the heads on, build it up, put it in.